my name is Ashley Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. You guys, I won another giveaway! Ah, that's so exciting! This time the giveaway was sponsored by the Abernathy's Go Green. She has a wonderful YouTube channel. I'm actually going to leave a link down in the description box so if you want to go check her out that'd be awesome. Uh, she does a lot of different natural makeup and beauty products and she reviews them. And every month she videotapes her trying out a subscription from the Face Mask Alchemy, which is an awesome subscription that has a vegan option and I just thought that was so cool so I entered her giveaway because she was giving away a month of that. And so I am so excited to show you what I got in this little package here and to try it out for you guys as well. And just so you know, the woman who runs this subscription also has a YouTube channel. I'm going to leave a link to her channel down below as well. And her YouTube channel is called And the Color Green. So I'm going to leave that down in the description box so you can check it out and see what her boxes are because each month she really dives into what each mask has like the properties it has in it, the different things she puts into it. And if you're interested by seeing what I am trying out today, you can get a monthly subscription that is $10.88 per month. But other than that, I think let's just dive into this guy, shall we? Okay, let's start with the piece of paper. Always gotta start with the paper. Aloha, summer is in full swing. So of course I had to bring back Surfer Girl. It's the perfect summer skin treatment. So Surfer Girl is the mask that I'm gonna be trying out today. This mask was featured in my first face mask alchemy box and it is still one of the most requested masks I have made. It will also be available in full size in the FMA shop selection. This mask is for the active summer crew who play outside. It was a mask I designed for me because I wanted a mask that would recharge skin after a day of sweating and sun. The clays are a blend of sea clay and pink clay. I added in gorgeous exfoliating organic hibiscus powder to aid in resurfacing any dry skin patches. Nutrient powder houses noni and spirulina. Feed the skin the nutrients it needs after prolonged sun exposure. Aloe gives this mask that hydrating refreshment it needs after facing the elements. Lastly, coconut milk restores the softness of skin post outdoor adventures. The oil is a sample but skin soothing blend of organic wild crafted argon oil and organic red raspberry seed CO2 oil. It is the perfect complement to treat summer skin. I hope you love it. And then on the back here, so that's like a nice little introduction. And then the back, it tells you the theme is Surfer Girl. Don't forget to check the website to see which oil you're getting that month. The things that are included in each month's subscription is a mask, the oil, and then either a honey stick or agave stick. And I should have the agave stick and a bamboo spoon. And then she gives you directions of how to do this. Okay, so let's see what else I got. Okay, so there's this guy. I want to make sure this is the agave stick because I don't want to use a honey stick. I'm pretty sure this is agave, but I'm worried. So we'll see. Okay, so this, you get this all in a nice little pouch right here. So first off, it looks like we got some fun little business cards to check out there. Oh, and then it also tells you the directions. Here's my nice little wooden spoon that I'm gonna apply the mask with. This is the oil that she was talking about. I might put this in the mask just to try it out. And then of course, the main reason for getting the mask is the Surfer Girl mask, which is the main thing we're gonna try out today. Just to be safe, I'm not gonna use it in this video and I think I'm gonna have my husband look at it later just to tell me if it's agave or honey. But do note there is an agave stick thing that you can get. And I'm like, I'm like 99% sure this is agave just because when I entered the giveaway, I was like, I'm vegan if I could get the agave stick, that'd be awesome. So I'm pretty sure this is the agave stick, but everything in the packet is saying honey. So it's just making me a little bit nervous. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to leave it in the description box below. I'll let you know if I got the honey stick or the agave stick. If I got the honey stick, I'm just going to give it to my husband. Uh, I'm not planning on using it. If it's agave, what I'll probably do is use it again in the next time that I try out the mask because I should get a few uses out of this, which is really exciting. Alrighty, let's find out how to use these guys. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix one to two teaspoons of dry mask with equal parts water or other liquid. Mix in extras like honey or oil, and then you apply to your clean face and you let it sit for five to 10 minutes. Rinse and cool out. It also says during the masking session, occasionally mist face to avoid mask completely drying. This keeps the mask from pulling moisture from the skin. Oh no, I don't think I have anything like that. Uh, I'll have to look around and see if I have any like spritzes because I know uh, she uses that whenever she tries them out too. Okay, so this one is talking about the oil. So it says in the mask, add three to five drops of oil to any mask to increase richness and moisture. As a facial oil, we apply three to five drops to damp, clean skin. Top with moisturizer. For booster, add three to five drops to any night or day cream or bonus. Also works well as a primer for makeup. Hmm, 
Hmm, that's very cool. Okay, so we're gonna mix it all together. I'm just doing one teaspoon for now because I'd rather start small and then build on if I have to, just so that I can have more uses out of it. So that's what the powder looks like. I haven't done the oil yet, this is just the water. I could see how doing oil would uh, make this thicker and it'd be easier to put on. Right now it's very, very liquidy. And we're gonna apply three to five drops of this into it. Also, I contacted Angela uh, who did the giveaway and she said that I should have gotten the agave stick but she is double checking with uh, the woman who runs the subscription just to see if that is the case. So still, I think I'm going to wait and not use this. Other than that guys, let's try this mask out. I'm gonna get my hair out of the way. My thoughts right now is this seems really liquidy. I, um, I kind of wish I had gotten like coconut oil or something to mix with it instead of water. Okay, because like right now it's just very liquidy. I've never used a wooden spoon like this so this should be fun. Okay, I don't even know how to start. <laughs> I'm great at this, you guys. This is all me. I've just never done anything like this before. Sorry if anyone's watching and going, ah, you're doing it so wrong. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, I think I'm actually just gonna use my fingers because I'm so inexperienced when it comes to this type of masking that I think it'll just be a little bit easier if I put it on my fingertips and do that. I still have so much in this bowl, but I feel like I have a good amount on my face. We'll see if we can get a little bit of a heavier flow going here. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I still do have more in the bowl and I only did a teaspoon. So there is a lot that you're getting. And I feel like if I would have used the honey or agave, I feel like it would have thickened it a little bit more cause the oil just uh, didn't thicken it that much. I'm gonna set it for just in between the five and 10 minute mark. So I think I'm gonna set it for seven minutes and 30 seconds. There we go. Um, I'm just gonna tell you my initial reactions of it so far. Um, I'm sure if I had more experience with the spoon, it would have gone on so smooth, but it is like, it's not dripping now that I've used my fingers. It was very liquidy, but again, I think if I would have used the agave or for people who use honey, if you would have used the honey, it would have thickened it up a lot more, but it's already feeling really cool on my skin. And I love when masks have that cooling effect. I like absolutely love it. It's probably my favorite thing that masks can do. And I'm already feeling like a really nice cooling effect, which is so cool. It feels like you have a nice little like cold breeze kind of hitting your face right now. That's what it kind of reminds me of. And if I go like this, it also does, but I also don't want it to dry. So I'm not going to keep doing that. And as for spritzing it to make sure it stays dry, ugh, I don't really have any just like water spritzers, which like I should have totally thought of because Angela, you always have spritzers in your video and you always like do a little nice spritz. So I think what I'm going to do though is because I do still have some of it is I'm just going to keep adding it on to hopefully keep it nice and uh, liquidy instead of drying. I think I'm going to go do this for the rest of the minutes. I'm gonna try and keep this hydrated in any way possible, but I'm gonna do that and I will come back once my seven and a half minute marker goes off. I'm just adding a little bit more on because it is getting drier. And since I don't have a water spritzer, if you do this, it's probably better than dragging your fingers, I'm realizing. Oh, that's my alarm. Okay, we're just gonna stop that. I'm gonna keep doing this just because it did get dry in spots. And this is actually, I think, helping. But I think blotting is better than trying to spread it. As you can obviously see, it's doing a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit while I talk and then I'm gonna wash it off. You guys, I really liked this. It's had that slight cooling effect the whole entire time that I've been wearing it, which is really nice. You definitely can feel when it's starting to dry, uh, which is really, really cool. You can even go on heavier than I did and really like I could have done like a whole probably green layer if I had done the two teaspoons. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and I'll come back after that. Okay, you guys, the mask is off. My face feels so nice and like rehydrated and it just feels like I got a little mini spa treatment, to be honest. <laughs> 
Um, and that was so awesome. And I can see now why this is like the number one mask that people are just calling for and asking for it to be sent out and become a full sized item in her store. So I totally see why this is such a popular one because it honestly feels amazing. It's hydrating your face. It has that cooling effect, which is really, really soothing. And like, this has just been nice because I've had a really stressful week. And so like having something like this just to kind of treat myself is really, really nice. Guys, I totally recommend trying this. I think it felt so nice. And I'm sure with the agave or the honey, it would feel even more nutritious and vitalizing and just amazing in general. And it feels really soft and smooth. And I do want to try adding a little bit of this oil as well. Just going to try a little bit right about here. I only want to do a little tester. Ooh, this feels really nice. Oh, and a little bit going like a long way, you guys. I think I just did two drops and I'm like getting this whole part of my face right here. So like a little bit is going a long, long, long way. This feels really nice and moisturizing and like just smooth. Like, mm, I'm liking it. You guys, I actually really, really like this. I would highly recommend trying it. Even if you just go on her store and get the mask, like I think it's so good. And I'm sure with the agave honey, it would be even better. Angela did tell her to give me the agave stick, so we'll find out if this is or not. Because there wasn't really any big distinction between the stick that I got and the stick that Angela got. So we shall see about that guy. But I'm sure with it, like it would make the mask even like 10 times better. Thank you so much, Angela, for sending this to me. I was so excited when you told me that I won your giveaway. I was super pumped to try it because I watched a few of your videos on the face mask alchemy uh, monthly subscription and it just looked like they were amazing so I'm so happy that I could try it out hopefully I did it all right you can let me know in the comments below if I did something wrong yeah you guys I really really enjoyed this I totally recommend checking out Angela's uh, YouTube channel and also the creator of the full mask alchemy subscription I'm gonna leave them like I said both down in the description box below there is for sure an agave option so even if this was honey there is still an option for when you check out you can choose agave instead of honey so there is a vegan option if you are a vegan who doesn't do honey like me if you're a vegan who does honey, I mean, there you go. You already know you have that option. Uh, but everything is all natural in this. She makes them from a lot of stuff I think you can find in Hawaii, if I'm remembering correctly. Other than that, I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know what your thoughts were down below in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys think about this mask and if it seems like it might be something that you would really enjoy for like a nice at-home spa day kind of uh, treat yourself day. Let me know all that down below. Other than that, if you are new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.